This game is the gateway to reviving Alexis 8. You've found all three prisms, and now you've just got to put them into those prism-shaped holes to split the white light into all of its colours. And once you've split the beams, you just have to line up the receiver with the part of the light spectrum that matches the target wavelength. It's easier than it sounds. Just move the receiver over the spectrum. The sight here shows you what part of the spectrum you're receiving. And you can see the wavelength of the light up here. The colour's a bit of a hint too. It looks really simple, but there's a fair bit of science in this game. The different colours of light really do have different wavelengths. Red is longest and violet is shortest. And light definitely bends like this whenever it enters or leaves glass on an angle. The bending is called refraction and it happens because glass slows light down. You can see the light sometimes bends left and sometimes bends right, but it's definitely not random. There's one simple rule that light always follows when it bends, and it's got to do with speed. It's easier to understand the rule if we draw a couple of lines. These lines are called the normal. They're just what a beam of light would do if it was hitting glass straight on. It wouldn't bend at all. Now, see how the light bends towards the normal line when it goes into the glass prism? Light always bends towards the normal when it slows down and light bends away from the normal line when it goes out of the glass. That's because light travels faster in air than in glass, and it always bends away from the normal when it speeds up. The angle of bend is just the beginning of the refraction story. You can find out exactly why light slows down in glass and why that makes it split into all its colours in our Prism Super Zoom video. But for now, you'd better go sort out Alexis 8.